Hello, I'm Sean Rice from the International Tour of the Addams Family, and this is Gaming Out of Suitcases, where I highlight some of my favorite games that travel well on the road. This week, I'm breaking into my Christmas presents. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Brittany. With two mini dice rolling games that are a lot of fun. Zombie Dice and Cthulhu Dice. I love these games for a couple of reasons. First, they're incredibly easy to travel with. I mean, this is Cthulhu Dice. It literally fits inside my pocket. And this is Zombie Dice, and it comes in its own handy Zombie Zeiss Shaker can. As it is, I carry my Cthulhu dice in my zombie dice can. That way I've got both of them with me at all times and you can see that the can is about the size of a soda can. It fits very very easily into a purse or bag. Second, they're fun and they don't take a lot of time to play or a long time to set up. So they're perfect for killing some time. Let's say if you're between shows, on the bus, waiting in line for something, just about anything. You can whip it out and bam, you've got a game that lasts about five to ten minutes and you're good to go. And third, they're themed. And you know how I feel about themed games. Okay, let me give you a little overview view on how each of them works. Cthulhu Dice. In this game, two to six players take on the role of cultists who are trying to drive each other mad. That is, if Cthulhu doesn't drive you mad first. Each player takes three of these red sanity tokens. Now the first player decides who he wants to attack and rolls the twelve-sided dice. Depending on the outcome, one of four things will happen. His victim will either have to give him one of his sanity tokens, or he'll have to give Cthulhu one of the Sandy tokens, or the roller may get to take a Sandy token from Cthulhu, or if he's very unlucky, everyone will have to give a Sandy token to Cthulhu. Next, the player that he attacked gets to respond by rolling the dice. Same actions follow. After that, play moves to the next person, with each person attacking and then making a counterattack. Play goes on until only one cultist has Sandy, or no cultists have sanity. Zombie dice. In this game, all the players are hungry zombies looking for brains to munch on. When it's your turn, you take three randomly selected dice from the can and roll them. Each die represents a human that you are attacking. If you roll a brain, mmm, lunch. If you roll a shotgun, then they have fought back and attacked you. If you roll some footprints, then they've run away, leaving you both unscathed. The goal is to collect 13 brains. Each round, you can roll as many times as you feel lucky, adding all of your brains to your total. But if you roll any three shotguns, then you have been killed, and you lose all the brains that you collected that round. There are three color of dice that you are randomly selecting from. Green dice have more brains, red dice have more shotgun blasts, and yellow were somewhere in the middle. Play till someone reaches 13 brains, then finish out the round. At the end of the round, the person with the most brains is the winner! See? Both games are fun, easy to learn, easy to play, and you can travel around with them without making special preparations. That's what I call a win-win. So if I've interested you in one or both of these Steve Jackson gems, then come on back on Wednesday when I will do a full rules overview and a playthrough of each one. Until then, stay sane and keep gaming!